To start a new case, click on New and import your DICOM data from a CD, DVD or a selected source. In this case, the data is from the selected source on the computer. The AI assistant can only process CBCT scans, it can't process CT scans. In the next window, you will access the patient data. You can rename it or leave it unchanged. Click on the OK button and the data set will be created. A pop-up window will appear. This will allow you to provide the AI assistant with the data. Click on Provide Data. You can also provide the AI Assistant with the DICOM data by clicking on the AI Assistant icon later in the planning session. Click on Close. Now you can access your planning data. Click Maxilla or Mandible. For example, in this case, Mandible has been selected. Then click OK while the AI Assistant is processing the DICOM. You can import your STL data into the AI Assistant. You can skip the first three steps and jump to the step number four for the loading model scan. Let's choose the lower scan. You can import PLY and STL data. PLY is for data in color or STL is monochrome data. Click on open. Now select this button to align the data using the AI Assistant. Another window will pop up where you have to define your scan type, in this case Mandible, and provide the AI Assistant with the data. Close this window. To provide the data from the upper scan, repeat the procedure. Load the model scan, select the upper intraoral scan, then follow the same steps to align it using the AI Assistant. Here you can see the AI Assistant icon. It's an orange hourglass. When this icon turns green with a check mark, you can import your selected data. Click on the AI Assistant icon to review your data. Now you can verify your data 3D objects. patient coordinate system and panoramic curve. Here you can make any adjustments needed. In this case you can check nerve canals. Here you can switch between the left and right nerve canals, look at each point to check it. The nerve canal is in the right position. Next check the left nerve canal. And at the end, you will verify and check the intraoral and CBCT scan alignment. Use the different images because the alignment is very important for the accuracy of your surgical guide. Check the other scan alignment. It looks quite good. Here then you can import the review data. It will appear in your planning module. Now the data has been imported. You can switch off your raw segmentation on the left side. Now you can start your planning. You can make your own wax up in co-diagnostics or you can download it from the CAD software. Let's start with the first option. Click on the little arrow here and select tooth. You can select as many teeth as necessary. In this case, we have four six. With the double click on your teeth, you can open movement option. Select model scans and select movement button for finding the best position. Remember that you can use this tooth only for visualization, not for the export. Second option, download your WaxUp data from the CAD software 
clicking on the load button. Select load model scan and select your wax up scan. If your wax up saved in the same coordinate system as your model scan, it is easy to match it. Just click copy alignment and then click finish. Click on the implant icon and the implant library opens. Here you can find your favourite implants marked with a yellow star. Choose the implant you want to use. Here I'm choosing the implant highlighted with the blue colour. And you can choose the tooth position where you want the implant to be added. Then press OK. The implant will be in the plan. Centre the implant in the middle of the picture with this button. Now you can make a fine alignment. You can also make bigger the cross section and tangential picture here. Shift the implant position with the left mouse button. On the tangential view, you can use a scroll wheel to rotate the view around the implant. If you go underneath the implant with the right mouse button, you can turn the implant. If you go on top of the implant, the turning point is the apical part of the implant. So you can align the implants in both pictures. The turning point is the middle point of the crestal area of the implant. If you open the tooth position button and open it here, you can change the diameter and the length of the implant. You can also add abutment in your plan in here. And make your final corrections with them. Before you start to design your surgical guide, you need to add the sleeves on your planning. You can make it here or here. A new window opens and the different sleeve systems will appear. Because we plan a Straumann implant, the first one is the Straumann sleeve. Here are different options. The whole geometry cylindrical, where you can set the sleeves in any direction you want. Or form fit, where you can get the sleeves in only one direction. Here you can change the height of the sleeves. Let's use H6. And when closing this window, the sleeves are set for the implant. You can change the sleeve position using drag and drop, moving them up or down. For the surgical guide design, click on this icon. Then you choose the model which you want the guide to be designed on. Click the next button and now look for an insertion pass from the occlusal side. Move the model up until you can just see the vestibular side of the anterior teeth. Then click the next button. In the next step, all the undercuts will be blocked out. Now choose the tooth numbers you want your guide to be placed on. And if you go over here and the circles turn yellow, you can move the circles and you move the red dot to the middle of each tooth. So you can grab them and move them. Or if you're in the circle, you can just click on the position where you want to place them. If you're done with that, turn the model up and check that your surgical guide is not too far down on the gingiva as here. Using the scroll wheel, you can make the circle smaller or bigger. 
On the other side, you can see that you have a sufficient connection to the sleeve holder everywhere. Make the circle bigger so it comes down to the lower side of the sleeve holder. Now click again on the next button. And on the next page you can see the offset. Offset means how tight the fitting of your surgical guide will be in the patient's mouth or on the model. Depending on your printer to a certain extent, if you increase the numbers it will be looser, if you decrease the numbers it will be tighter. And here you can adjust the wall thickness. Then hit the next button again. And that is your first design of your surgical guide. Now move the surgical guide so that you can see the occlusal side and add your first inspection window. Now place it here on the ring of the sleeve holder to give the surgeon freedom for their instruments later. So that right now only the natural tooth is in the way. And the other inspection windows are for checking that the surgical guide sits perfectly in the patient's mouth during surgery. You can add as many as you like to have perfect visibility everywhere in the patient's mouth later. Try to position the inspection windows between the tooth on the vestibular or on the oral side. Then click on the next button. And here you can add labels to the surgical guide. If you click on the add button, you can write some text there, or you can use the presets from the CT or CBCT. You can find the name of the patient and you can put it on the guide. And also you can add the surgical protocol. Move it with your left mouse button and with the scroll wheel you can change the size. And your surgical guide is ready, either for export if you have the producer version for printing or to send it somewhere to a producer license if you have the client license. In this case I will export my surgical guide. Click on the export button. In the window that appears, you can correct offset, wall thickness, and sleeve diameter offset. If you click here, you can view parameters such as sleeve diameter offset for all sleeve models used. If necessary, to determine the appropriate sleeve diameter offset, you can export a so-called calibration matrix as an STL file, which can then be printed out from here. The calibration must be done at least once for each sleeve model used, the printed calibration matrix. The matrix contains a hole with increasing offset, so you can determine which offset provides the best fit and now simply tell the co-diagnostics the optimum offset. This value will be saved for all sleeves of the same model. When you have checked all parameters, you will be able to export the surgical guide. Click on export surgical guide. Now you need to unlock the planning. A click fee will only be deducted once per case. This means that you will not be charged extra fees if you create another surgical guide with modified parameters or if you create surgical guides for both upper and lower jaw within one CT or CBCT scan. I apply it and now you can see your finalized surgical guide. On the last step, you can review your surgical protocol and all details of your planning. You can save this file as PDF or you can print it. And now we are finished.